What's up guys? Welcome back to Be A Metal Fabricator. I'm Tubal Kane, and I wanted to do something a little bit different with this machine. I want to change out these tucking dies and put a hammer on here and see if we could press out a tuck rather than hammering out a tuck. And it'd be real nice and quiet in the, you know, in the shop if we could do that. So we put a tuck in it, press hammer it out, throw it in the English wheel and have a nice quiet day. So let's give it a shot. Let's go ahead and take off these tucking dies and then we'll figure out our hammer and our base and we'll put this thing together and see if it works. But before I do that, I have these things on my sweater. You never ever want to work with these things on your sweater. Trust me, I've seen accidents happen that are not good. So let's cut these off. This is kind of my plan right here. I got this tube. I'm going to chop it down and then I laid the small little hammer head and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this in here and I'm going to tack this tube onto here. I still have to figure out the depth that I want it but when it's in here I think we'll be able to push out a tuck. I think. I'm not sure but we'll try it. So let me cut this down All right, so I cut that, that spacer piece at an angle to kind of make this aim backwards a little bit. So it'll sit like that. And when we come down, it'll somewhat kick back. And I think that's kind of what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and tack this piece onto this top arm here. So I got the tucking tool out and then here's our hammer. I'm gonna put a tuck in this and see if this will work hammering it out. So there's our tuck. I'm gonna put a piece of rubber on here to try to hold these sides down. Let's see what happens here. Oh, sliding already. Try to get it on the side of that tuck there. Try to move it in. And then hammering it out. All right, well, that wasn't the, the greatest, but I think it kind of worked. Let's try it again. This in the tucking tool. Nice tall tuck on there. And then try to try to push this tuck in without just flattening it out, which is kind of difficult actually. Push it on 
on this side. Trying to keep that, trying to keep that spine in there. It did all right. The hammer definitely works better than that. But let's try something else here. Let's put some softer rubber on here. I had some, I just cut a couple of pieces. And then let's try to stretch this. So, it definitely, if you got some soft material on the bottom, it's stretching pretty good actually. It's putting some spontaneous tucks in there. That's that's pretty good, I'd say. <laughs> you you kind of don't need to put that tuck in there because it's putting spontaneous tucks in there. I just cut out this circle out of the sheet metal. Let's put it in here and see how far we can dome this with just this hammerhead and the rubber. So not too bad. We got some heavy stretching in here and it did shrink along the edges right here in this soft rubber with this tool, which is pretty cool. I mean, it was just an idea. I wanted to see if by putting a tuck in it with the actual tucking tool, if this machine would work to hammer that out. And it didn't do as good as I wanted it to, but that's not a big deal because we can still shape metal with it just by stretching, which is pretty awesome. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys want this tool, the plans are available on my website. Check it out. And I appreciate all the support that you guys are always giving me. And until next time, we'll see you later.